Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're going to be looking at a bottle of beer from uh, a fine brewery, well, fine ales in Scotland. It's in Argyle in Scotland. And it's a bottle of their Hurricane Jack. It's a, as it says on the bottle, a blonde and fruitily hopped ale. I've had this once before, that was on cask at the uh, Bradford Beer Festival, maybe about three years ago now. So I haven't tried this for a long time. So, let's get this open. And here's the glass. That's the way it's not bottle conditioned. Which, to be honest, is no problem for me. I'm not a, I'm not a diehard when it comes to all that business. As long as it's good beer, that's all that matters to me. Anyway, yeah, so it's 4.4%. Let's have, a, let's have a look. It's a really pale look. Nearly kind of white. You know I mean, that's, so that's a really, really super kind of uh, white gold kind of colour. Slight yellowy tinge. Kind of looks like a Belgian uh, wit. It's, it's slightly hazy, but also quite, there's a, there's a clarity to it, despite this kind of, um, kind of chalky haze in a way. Anyway, a really nice tight head of froth on that, pure white. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Mmm, lovely. Really nice, fresh, uh, kind of lemony, tart, uh, slightly earthy hops. It does, in a way, remind me of a Belgian wit, <laughs> which is strange. Yeah, there's a hint of um, yeah, fresh, fresh herbs in the garden. Not, not any particular herb, but that kind of, that just generic herby quality. Just kind of, it's got a kind of a grassy note to it, I guess. There's a hint of cloves in the back end. Maybe some kind of orange peel as well. But a really nice kind of rounded, smooth kind of nose. I know it's kind of strange to say a, uh, the smell of a beer is smooth, but it's got a real kind of softness to it, I guess. Anyway, I'm quite thirsty, so I'm dying to try, uh, try this beer. Anyway, cheers. Mm. Oh, oh, that's lovely. It, and it comes, once again, I say this a lot, it, the hop quality comes in waves. It's hitting different parts of your palate. Initially, right up front, quite, a, once again, that herbal grassy note, along with uh, quite a prominent, um, maybe slight kind of watery grapefruit, and definitely quite a lot of lemon juice. A bit of lemon peel in there as well. Lime juice as well. It's really nice, it's up front, then it falls away nicely. Lovely. Oh yeah, nice and, uh, yeah, once again, it's not a pithy dryness, but it's got that bitterness you get from, like, um, citrus peel. But definitely lemon, lime and orange. Nice and smooth. It's, it's a bit of a... Um, it kind of disappears eventually though. It's a lovely drinking beer. Ends with a nice um, lasting kind of tinned grapefruit bitterness. Not the, It's not a punishing kind of harsh grapefruit bitterness. A really nice lulling tinned grapefruit kind of thing. And that kind of, that is lasting as well. I think that's lovely. That's a lovely beer. I've got it quite cool. It's, it's it's an interesting beer. I mean, where do where do you place it? Because it's got a bit more hop quality than, than your average kind of English pale ale, and it's super pale. It looks like a Belgian wit. It's got certain qualities on the nose. What you'd think you get from that kind of thing, which is herbal and um, kind of lemony, but in the mouth, um, it's re a really kind of nicely defined but simple citrus bitterness. Yeah, lemon juice, lime, lime juice, really kind of lead the show on that one. Yeah, lovely, I w I'd love to know which hops are in that, because that makes a lovely pale ale, and super drinkable. I've got it quite cold, I think it suits it, because I mean, it looks like, it reminds me of Thornbridge's uh, Wild Swan, in its flavour, to, and looks very similar to it. One of the palest beers I've ever seen. Super pale. Anyway, an absolutely lovely beer. And it's a shame that it's been so long since I've had that. 
because this when summer comes around next I'll be definitely drinking plenty of this because it's lovely. Anyway, this came to me as part of the My Brewery Tap 52 week beer club. So uh, I'd definitely check them out. If you, uh, they put uh, put together some cracking uh, mixers. I mean, in this time we have, we have this. You've got the dry stout from Stringers, which is a cracker. You've got um, what else did we have? Well, we had Buxton Gold, uh, Five AM Saint from uh, Brewdog. A fantastic range of beers. So definitely get on there. I bought my um, father-in-law. Uh, a box of that for his birthday a couple of years ago, and he loved it. You I mean every uh, every quarter you get a um, you get a box of I think twelve or thirteen beers. It's it's cracking. It's a cracking deal. And it's really good value. Anyway, check them out. Mybrewerytap.com, and this one is Fine Ales uh, Hurricane Jack, four point four percent blonde ale, and their website is www.fineales. F Y N E Fine Fine Ales dot com. Anyway, so that's a lovely beer. Absolutely lovely. Hurricane Jack. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com and thanks for joining me for another video beer review and I'll see you next time. Cheers.